Celebrating 15 years of Young Turks. Welcome back. You're watching Young Turks, India's longest running show on entrepreneurship. I'm Shireen Bhan. In this segment, we put the spotlight on Bangalore based tech startup Amagi, which is a next generation media technology company that enables personalization of television content delivery. With offices in New York, London, Tokyo, and Hong Kong, Amagi works with major broadcasters in 40 countries to provide cloud-based broadcast and targeted advertising platform to advertisers. With marquee investors like Infosys co-founder NS Raghavan, Mayfield Ventures and Prem G Invest, the team at Amagi is now set to disrupt the online digital media space as well. Here's their story. Bhaskar, Vidya and Srini have known each other since their engineering college days at GCT Coimbatore. The trio then took up jobs at Texas Instrument, which they quit in a few years to start up. One of the first few companies in India to work on wireless Bluetooth technology, their first venture, Impulsesoft, was acquired by Nasdaq-listed Surf Technologies in 2008. The point that actually has kept us together for all this, I think is, you know, value match, right? We all, I mean, none of us believe in, you know, you know that we are doing this for money. We really want to do something, you know, dramatic in our lives that we can actually leave some legacy behind. When we were about to start Amagi, uh, we were kind of toying with different ideas. In fact, uh, I remember uh, we were all sitting in I am Bangalore and all of us were looking at uh, various technologies, about 13 different technologies uh, to understand what we will work on. It had even ideas like uh, enabling uh, or building a mobile phone um, with uh, uh, which helps elders. And uh, when we finally looked at TV, we felt that uh, TV requires a lot of uh, innovation right now and TV was an 1.0 where the entire world has moved to 2.0 and we felt that technology innovations can help a lot in TV. The innovation the team had to offer was one which allowed geo-targeted advertising on television. And why was this an area that the team felt was ripe for disruption? Take a look at the numbers. A major detractor that prohibits advertising on TV for small and medium advertisers is cost. But with Amagi's geo-targeting solution, an SMB could advertise on a national broadcaster for a fraction of the cost. But the team admits that it wasn't an easy sell. For the first 18 months, extremely hard. I remember getting into meetings where people roll their eyes and say, okay, uh, this looks interesting conceptually, but who are you guys? I never knew you guys. And you're in a garage in Bangalore trying to tell me how broadcasting has to change. In this sort of geo-targeting business, you have two aspects, right? One is the advertisers. The other is the TV channel and the operators. We had this chicken and egg problem in this case, right? TV channel used to say, oh, do you know whether the advertisers exist in this market? And advertisers used to tell me, do you have channels to where I can advertise geo-targeted? And I remember one day we kind of took a call that uh, Srini flew down to Delhi to me, want to meet that uh, the TV channel. And I flew down to Hyderabad where we had our first advertiser. And actually, where on the same day, we were telling both of them that we have a TV channel and we have an advertiser. So both of them, we kind of had to bridge the gap in some sense. And only then, uh, we had this called confidence building measure that happened. And over the years, they've managed to build this confidence and how. Growing 300% year on year, Amagi today works with broadcasters in 40 countries. And its suite of services includes a patented watermarking technology, for dynamic ad insertions on TV. For brand scientists, Amagi has created a programmatic buying solution which is being dubbed as a media e-commerce site to buy media inventory online. And its thunderstorm technology enables advertisers to improve the efficiency of personalized advertisements based on the context of a viewer in the over-the-top or OTT television domain. We hope to be the engine of this digital transformation. Uh, what we have built, what we call as a thunderstorm platform, is a platform that can actually personalize the content stream for every single viewer. Today we have actually launched it with uh, multiple television networks where they could actually personalize ads on their content stream. Independent of, you know, what the content stream is, depending on who is watching, the ads would be personalized and delivered to the right person at the right time in a live linear stream. So the natural extension to this is why stop with advertising? You know, can I actually, in real time, create personalized streams, depending on users' preferences, depending on uh, what time of the day they are watching, depending on what their friends or social network uh, is recommending. But another important ingredient to the trio startup journey 
The second time around has been to build a work culture that takes inspiration from the word Amagi itself, which means freedom. I cycle to work, and uh, that's a, that's a great feeling. And we take our kids around on the on the, the closest mountains here to take them around, show them the bees, the spiders, and the stars together. It's 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 a, it's a great feeling, and I think we've got very uh, used to this sort of a lifestyle. If you look at it, uh, obviously uh, at work we try to replicate some of these. In some sense, we try to create a park-like feeling in our work environment. Technology is table stakes today. There are enough companies in Bangalore which can provide you the same sort of technology challenges, if you will. Uh, but whom are you working with? What are, are you working with? The right sort of people, the right sort of cultural values is a very critical part of how cust- uh, how employees look at us. With that, it is time for us to head into a break. But coming up next on Young Ted, we catch all the action from the fourth edition of the Shiro Summit in Mumbai. Stay tuned. Celebrating 15 years of Young Turks, 